you say guys? A little quick one today. A day off. Gotta do a little something while this bright orb up in the sky is actually shining and we're not getting all that liquid crap that fell over 12 inches this month. Rafters are all resting and drying right now waiting to uh, be installed once they get to a certain point, certain dryness then I'll uh, start working on those but I finished up my pegs today <clears throat> I had probably I don't know, eight or so that I didn't install um, when I was raising it but got all those wrapped up I'll tell you what a, a bar of soap lifesaver when it comes to driving them there's that uh, one I had in a previous video that uh, I was afraid of going too close to that knot so I just threw a little little plug in there to block that up this guy here um, I bored in and I cheated I cheated on this and then six other ones um, I threw in one of the uh, <clears throat> fasten mate the black ones to uh, hold that I didn't go all the way through on that one but everything else all pegged all good all the way through. I say I cheated on a couple of them. I uh, I don't know whether I'm. It's just getting old and I'm getting lazy, or I'm being honest here and nobody would have freaking known if I'm not if I wasn't telling you right now. But for the um, for the ridge beam, for the braces here, the three that you're looking at, those are um, those are just plugs. I bored in probably an inch, inch and a quarter, and I used that uh, those same four and a half inch uh, lag type screws there the headlocks these guys right here cheating but like I said if I didn't tell you you'd never know and nobody will ever know that's standing here looking at it but sometimes you got to do what you got to do you know what I'm saying I guess that's carpentry if you can uh, used to hear as a kid if you can hide your mistakes you're a good carpenter this isn't necessarily a mistake am I taking a little shortcut yeah maybe but it's just for this one and I, I just couldn't justify the time to uh, go ahead and split a bunch of other pegs and mill them all down and waste all that time when I can just for something that's up and out of sight go the short route but I can say everybody else is uh, they're through and proper going to be oiling the top of every beam today. I'm using the mortar oil and the paint thinner to kind of thin it down for the tops of these and that's it. Um, that was what I originally used at the bottom of every post was the mortar oil and uh, the paint thinner just thinning it down but it's um I, I don't want people walking by and freaking getting it on their clothing or whatnot so I'll keep it at the, the bottom of the post as I have it the tops of the beams and I bought some actual um, clear stain and sealer which I'm going to use for all the other surfaces so the next video you see will most likely be me checking in and having that sealer on uh, all the surfaces down low but that's a wrap like I said I cheated my bad. Nobody's ever going to know about you. Have a good day.